Hey, greetings and salutations, everybody. I just wanted to do a really quick video on my uh, updates on my computer here. Um, this is just a real quick review of the Corsair 5000X RGB uh, PC case. Um, I have to say, after building with it, uh, I like it, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. There's a few problems that I have with this case. Um, basically, the 360 push-pull on top requires you to not run the dust filter that comes with it that usually goes on top, looks all nice and all that good stuff and keeps everything cleaned up inside. But, uh, yeah, you can't use that dust filter with um, a push-pull. Um, I've only got the 240 millimeter in there, and you can see they advertise it as a 360 millimeter push-pull on top. Well, there's not a lot of room there. Um, I had my graphics card, 120 millimeter uh, cooler up there on a push-pull, and it was uh, with the dust filter on, and the, the problem was is it was literally filling up the whole area like... It, it, the, the case isn't high enough to accommodate both fans and the radiator inside. That's just the facts. If you go with anything bigger than a 120, um, it won't fit. So to tout it as a 360 millimeter push pull on top, it requires you to actually um, get rid of the dust filter. Um, on the front, it has tons of room, so you can actually do a full push pull. 360 in the front no problem if you want to um, and again you can choose between the front or that back mount which brings me to my next point what is the point in that stupid metal tray you give us Corsair that covers that whole area knowing everybody has to take it out anyway like it I don't know it it, it really it was really not convenient to take that out like it was really a pain in the butt um, I like the fact that they give you this nice other cover here is great uh, for in the front to accommodate for the 360 push pull if you want. Um, ultimately, I want to upgrade to the 3090 Kingpin and a 360 millimeter Capellix uh, cooler, but um, I'm just worried that I'm not going to have the space. I was worried I wasn't going to have the space to accommodate everything, but um, I think really it, it it is a pretty amazing case. I just wish they would have made it about 40 or 50 millimeters taller to accommodate for a full push-pull inside without having to sacrifice the, um, you know, the dust filter and that, keep stuff from falling in there. Um, most people probably wouldn't care, but I have a, an African gray parrot that, her tiny little leaves they fall or her tiny little feathers fall everywhere like leaves and you know um i also have a dog that sheds a lot so anything in the air you know i i would like to filter that out but um i love the dust screen in the front it's it's so fine that you can't really see it i'm trying to get it to pull up there we go there's the mesh it's such a tight little screen that um it really does uh, a great job at catching anything. Um, I've been running it for, I've, I've, I only installed everything about a week ago now. I've been doing thermal tests and other things, finding the best layout for my rig. Um, and this is probably the coolest layout that I've had, um, like uh, temperature wise, it is the coolest. Um, also, I think it looks pretty sick. Uh, all these little Corsair um, wraps that you see on my tubing, they come with the case. Uh, they send you like, man, I don't know, I got one up there. I got a couple in the back on some wiring. I got one up there holding wiring out of the way. Got three more on that one, two more on that one. I mean, they send like 12 of them with it. Um, for those that are wondering, the uh, white cased fans are the fans that came with the case. And the ones that are black are Corsair LL. Uh, 
120 millimeter RGB fans. Um, except for that one. That's the EVGA fan that comes with the 1080 Ti hybrid. Um, but yeah, I, I really, after building with it, I, I am a fan, but I think it could be better. And I think it could, uh, they could change a couple of things about it. But otherwise, I mean, it really is a convenient little builder. Um, I mean, I can't say little builder because it's way bigger than the 4000X, but I, I believe that they could make this a slightly bigger and still keep all the, uh, the form factor of it and the, and the breathability of it and that, but just make it so they can put a true 360 on top and true 360 push-pull in front. I think if, if they manage that, then, uh, yeah, I would, I would even, I would scrap this case and buy that. If they did a 6000X <laughs> RGB that allowed for a true full 360 or even a, a 480 push-pull on top and in the front, you know, you could compete, you know, you could smash the Enthus with that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I really like it. Um, I think it looks great. Uh, I'll change some lighting here so you can kind of get an idea. We'll go to rainbow. Everything shines. And I've also, I mean, I've got my window open here. So you're getting sunlight on it. Um, directly on it and that too. So it's not like I'm in a dark room to uh, really show off how bright this thing really gets. But um, yeah, I think Corsair killed it on this one. Um, don't buy it off Amazon. Go to Corsair's website and get it. You can get it for the 205 um, and then plus tax and that. But uh, don't, uh, don't pay the uh, accelerated prices of uh, Amazon because like right now it's going for like 280 or something or $300 or something on Amazon. Don't, don't, don't fall for that. Order directly from Corsair. Uh, I ordered mine on a Saturday... And I got it that next Thursday or that, that same, you know, that Thursday. So it only took about five days to get here. Um, but yeah, uh, I think really like in the back here, um, they made it really easy to open it up. They made it really easy to maintain. Um, I just, uh, you know, th my only two complaints was that stupid metal, guard thing in the back i don't know whatever that they want to call that the motherboard tray thing whatever i don't know i don't know what they the part name even is called i i think it's stupid and i i won't use it but um yeah i mean i got all the lights down in here um managed to get everything to fit really well uh i was i was surprised at how much room there really was for all the wiring um I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised by that, um, but overall, I mean, I'll give it I'll give it like a nine out of ten. I mean, it's it's legit or a four and a half, four point seven five out of five. I mean, it's it's legit. Um, so if you're looking for a case that allows for great cooling, that allows for I mean, it still does the three sixty push pull on top. I just wish it was you know you were able to use the dust filter with it, but otherwise it really is a great case and uh the thermals are um they're pretty crazy like like right now while i'm filming this and here let's see if i can pull it up here we go like right now pull that out of the way and make sure i can see it all right so like right now my uh, processor is sitting at, well, my graphics card is at 23 degrees Celsius, as you can see there. And then my processor sits at, right now is sitting at 26.2. And again, that's why and again, that's while running my, you know, just basic light programs and whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't take much to run IQ. Um, and it doesn't take much to, uh, 
to run my camera and microphone. So, I mean, that said, it's not like it's straining my system. It's not like I'm playing Warzone. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm actually, you know, pleasantly surprised with how well it really just pops. And, uh, and again, the airflow in it is, is outstanding. Um, you wouldn't think so, but really these vents here provide a lot of air and they're bigger than you think. Like I can fit my pinky in there. inside there see I can fit my pinky in there if the dust screen wasn't there I could shove my finger into the fan and I'm not a small guy so I mean it, and you got vents on both sides there and over here so you can see and then like around the back there's venting there if you wanted to add three more fans which I'm gonna do I will be adding three fans to the back and then one to the front there um, Probably in the next, I don't know, month or two. I got to get some more money up to do it. Um, it's all a work in progress. But uh, at the end, I'm going to, when I finally get everything, I ordered a Leanne Lee strimmer, and that's not here yet for the ugly clump of 24 pin wiring coming out of there. That'll all be RGB lighting strips, um, RGB wiring, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the end, though, I think. I think this uh, is actually a really great case. I uh, I highly recommend it to people if you have the room for it and and <laughs> and have a good back because man, with the with the full system in there, it it probably weighs a good. It's got to weigh close to seventy pounds. I mean, it's got to. It, it's a, it, with the power supply and everything. It, it's pretty heavy. Um, so make sure you're not putting this on some crappy table or, you know. I mean, granted, I have it on this plastic rig, but it's actually like an industrial bench uh, rig thing that I've got it sitting on. So it, it can hold, you know, 300 pounds. So that's not an issue. But um, yeah, these uh, it definitely is not a small case by any means um, to give people an idea of how big that it really is. Let's see here if we can't. trusty old tape measure here from the back to the front is 20 inches and from the top to bottom here we've got 20 and a half so uh, wait is that a half yep 20 and a half tall uh, 20 wide or 20 deep and another looks like nine and three quarters wide so I mean it's not a small case by any any stretch of the imagination um, but it uh <laughs> it definitely um, definitely looks great I mean it's very clean and they made it easy to open and, and to maintain and to and to actually like you know install things like literally it's literally just two pins in the back unscrew those and they're safety ones so you don't have to worry about them falling out on you or any of that they just kind of chill and then it's just a quick pop like that slides right off and poof it's that easy to open it up i mean i did it one-handed while holding a camera so how hard is it really <laughs> and then same thing putting it back together you know I can do it pretty much one handed now so get that lined up oh almost almost get it back together one handed I gotta lift here get that in the slots pops right back on and you can easily tell when you have it on it's and that was both clips popping into place tighten these back up and you're done It really, to me, uh, they made it simple. The back do, uh, comes off the exact same way. The top literally just pops off to provide you access. Um, so it just pops off. That pops.
mounts back in place. Front, same thing. You can grab anywhere. See, pops right off. No muss, no fuss, no worrying about netting. It's real thick, heavy glass, so you really don't have to, uh, you know, once it's in place, it's in place. It's not going anywhere, so. Um, yeah, I, I really, I love the convenience of it. Um, I don't know what else to say, but if you want a case that uh, looks great, that has great airflow, that actually for once does what's advertised, um, yeah, I, uh, that's where I stuck my dead fan. It's the RGB on it still works, but the motor's dead, so uh, yeah, I stuck it down there for extra light. For people that are wondering, like, why isn't that spinning? Your fan is dead. Yeah, I know. It's not even plugged in. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you've got double AIOs or if you're thinking about moving to liquid cooling, this case is outstanding for it. Um, I really, I don't have enough good things to say about it other than, you know, I, if they made it a bit taller, plus that would also allow... Uh, they should change the mounts for some people. Um, like for me, for example, I only need the graphics card radiator to be just above the graphics card. So if I could drop this down, you know, if you could put a bracket in or something that allows for, you know, something to, to mount there to those normal one, you know, 80 millimeter or the, yeah, the hundred and, um, the 140 millimeter fans. If, if you had a bracket or something that could, so we could lower this and actually put the, uh, 240 millimeter cooler on top of that for in the front and then just have these as just straight vents out, that would help me a lot. You know, if there was some, I don't know, if there was a way to lower this like three more inches, um, that would be perfect for me. But again, that's just me. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how many people are actually running, you know, liquid cooled GPUs at this point. But with, you know, with AIOs and liquid cooled, you know, processors with AIOs, most people, you know, at this level go to custom loops. But I don't want to. I don't like them. I uh, personally, I, I like having everything all enclosed in one unit and not having to worry about it and not having to drain it out and clean everything out and do all that all the time. Um, I just don't want the maintenance that comes with it. Um, plus the price is insane. Um, I was looking on Corsair's own website and to completely turn this into one giant loop is, you know, a thousand dollars almost. So I just, I can't see the point in that um, for me um, right now. I just, I, I don't, yeah, that's not going to happen for me. So I've gone with AIOs and uh, I, I love them. I, um, I'll never get another graphics card that isn't uh, a hybrid card. There's no way. I just won't. Um, temperature wise and overclock wise, um, I just, I had a 1080 Ti Founders Edition that was, it's a night and day difference between this card and a Founders Edition card. So, um, you know, I would suspect that on the new cards, it's probably the same. The performance-wise, like, uh, is a huge jump on the hybrid cards compared to the standard Founders cards. Um, but yeah, other than that, I really, I can't, I can't really uh, say anything else about it. But, um... Yeah, I guess if you have any questions or comments or anything, you know, just leave them down below. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I covered enough of it um, for you guys to figure out if you want one or not. But, um, you know, have a good one, everybody. Peace.